Hey guys, welcome to my first Lua programming video. I gotta make this quick because I don't have more than 15 minutes on a YouTube video. So today we will be covering the eight basic value types um, in Lua. There are numbers, strings, Boolean data, tables, functions, a nil data, user data, and threads. So we'll start with the numbers. Um, the basic print function in Lua is just print and then whatever you want inside. Uh, for numbers, you can just type in the fun or the operation that you want to be done, and it will pop out uh, the answer. Uh, any operation works, division, multiplication, whatever. Um, another thing that you can do with numbers is assign variables, x equals 2, print x, that'll give you 2. Uh, you can also change variables like this, x equals x plus 9, and then print x should be 11, yep. And... Uh, that's pretty much the basics for numbers. Uh, there's not much there. Uh, numbers are probably the easiest. And then we'll go on to strings. Um, strings are just words, or, or not just words, but like, uh, uh, you'll see. So we're gonna assign who a variable as Lua. User. So when you print who, you'll get Lua user without the uh, quotation marks, and you can also do who equals one, two, th two, three, four. And so now that is actually a string, not a number. So it's thinking of it as um, it's just not thinking of it as a number. And um, so, yep, that's pretty easy. Another thing that's a really useful thing to know about strings is the dot dot operator. So you can use this to join two strings together. So print hello dot dot who. So you should get hello one two three four. Yep. So the dot dot just links them together and we'll put them next to each other. Uh, if you put a space right after the or inside the quotations after hello, it would have. Uh, giving you a nice little space there, but whatever. Um, so next is Boolean values. These are pretty much just true or false. Um, you can do x equals true, print x, same with false, you can do the same thing. Um, another, uh, a useful operator for this is not. So print not true will be false and then vice versa. And uh, two important operators when using Boolean values are equal to, which is the double equal sign, and then not equal to, which is the squiggle in the equal sign. So it's the same sort of syntax. Print 1 equal equals 0. It should be false. Yep. Print 1 does not equal 0. It should be true. All right. <clears throat> That's pretty much it for Boolean. Now on to tables. These are aggregate data types used for storing collections containing other objects uh, like strings, numbers, or other aggregates such as tables. So you can actually have a table inside a table, which you'll see in a second. <coughs> to create a table, you use curly brackets, these guys. And um, this is how you do it. So we're just going to create an empty table here. Um, x equals curly brackets. Uh, print x. There you go. That might be confusing, but what that is is just a table identifier. Each version of Lua, each uh, copy of Lua has a different identifier for each table. Uh, don't freak out if it's not the same thing. Uh, it's just an identifier for that table. So then you can have x equals value equals 1, 2, 3. Text equals hello. So what we're doing here is we are... In our table x, we are making a variable called value, and we're making that equal 123, and then a text variable, which is actually going to hold a string, which is hello. And then print, and then the syntax here is table, so the table x, and then the item in it. So if you call value, you'll get 1, 2, 3, print x dot text will give you hello. Okay. Uh, another thing that you can do is have a table inside a table. Now I always mess this up. Let's see if I can get it on the right time. So we'll do number um, name equals pi value equals 3.14 number 
equals name equals light speed value equals three e eight. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? I forgot the things. Oh no. Hang on, let's see if it'll let me add it on in the end. Print y, which is the first table. Number two, which is the second table. And then name. Let's see if this works. Yes, okay, so let me do that. So here you have y, which is the first table. And then you're calling the table inside the table number two. And then the na or the item, which is name in this case, which is light speed. And you can do the same with y dot number one or whatever and value this will give you 3.14 um, and that is pretty much it for tables pretty easy as well on to functions um, so you create a function using the function operator which is just function and you always have to end a function with n so we'll make a function called foo here uh, print all this is going to do is print hello That'll be end. So foo. There you go. So um, the way the syntax of this is the name or function, the operator function, the name of the function, what the function's going to do, and then end. And uh, so if you do print foo as if you were going to do that, it'll just give you the function identifier. So it's sort of similar to the table. Um, here we go, x equals function print, oh wait, did we just do that? Yeah. Okay, so that is all I have here for functions. Um, one other thing you can do with a function is add an argument in there, so function n return, which is another uh, operator or keyword I guess that we'll go into later, time, n times 2, and, and then we'll say foo to which pop out, oops, print. Let's try this. Four. There you go. So if you're gonna do that, you gotta do the the print thing, which which is weird because I don't. Okay, because yeah, you're not saying the variable. You're saying the function with the argument in it in the print function. So that's sort of confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. So now we go on to nil values, and nil is a special value, which pretty much means that it doesn't have a value. So if x equals 2 point, or 3, whatever, print x, you'll get 3, but then if you say x equals nil, print x, oops, yeah, okay, and pretty much all that making it uh, nil does is removes the value. So that's sort of a way of destroying a variable or getting rid of it. Um, you can use nil sort of interchangeably with false. Uh, so print x nil should be true. Print all right here. Yeah, and then if you did, if you made it a value and said x equals nil, it would say false. Um, so then you go on to user data, which is another type, and that's pretty much objects that are foreign to Lua. Uh, such as objects implicated in C. They can be treated like tables unless you're implicating one yourself. I'm not very knowledgeable on this, so I'm not going to go into that more. Uh, a thread, which just re represents an independent thread of execution. Uh, dynamic typing uh, simply means that you don't have to define a variable. So in C, you'd have to do int x equals 3. So you're telling the system that you're having an integer as your x. Lua is smart enough that it knows when you type x that it's just a that it's an integer and you don't need to define that. So now we're going to get into querying type. So pretty much what this is, is um, you, the system will tell you what type of variable it is. So if you have x equals 1, 2, 3, print type x, it'll say number. So one thing that you got to worry about is if it's x, Quotations, one, two, three, print type x. It'll give you a string. Um, and that can be confusing because if you do it like this, it 
you know, it looks like a number, but it's actually a string. And uh, so, yeah, that's it for the video today. If you guys liked it, drop a like, subscribe for more. More videos will be coming, and I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. Thanks. Bye.